and in his pocket I see the shimmer and shine of a knife. A few minutes later we peek behind us and same woman is walking behind us staring at my little brother. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel. So it's like 10 a.m. right now. I finished school early. <coughs> so today to kick off spooky season almost. I don't know when I'm uploading this. I think it's like a few days away from spooky season. I'm not going to be telling you ghost stories but I'm going to tell you creepy encounters that I've had with real people. Yay. So I have them written down in my notes my iPad. I'm just going to be telling you some stories that really freaked me out. I don't know which one I want to start off with. I guess we can start off with the least frightening one for me. We're gonna start off with this one. So let's just get into it so I don't spoil anything. So when I was younger, my mom had to go to the store so I just went with her because shopping day and I had to get like school shoes or something like that it's all coming back to me slowly I don't know how old I was probably about like eight or nine we pull up to this plaza I've never really been there we go in and we're walking into Michael's I'm pretty sure Michael's Mitchell's one of those stores so I'm walking up there and then this man like he's a pretty tall man me as a little child is scared of other people so yeah he walks up to us and i get kind of freaked out i'm like um mommy who is this i don't actually say that but like i almost dropped my ipad but it was like creepy yeah he just walks up to us he's like do you have any spare change try to donate as much as we can i was raised to always give back to people who need it so that's just what we do we just we give back okay back to the story he approaches us and normally my parents just like give like a dollar or two to people who ask for it because why would they ignore someone who's nicely asking for something you know like why would they ignore them he approaches us and he's carrying his bike with him and he has a backpack on he asks for a dollar but like she grabs me and she grabs her bag and He like keeps getting closer. She's just like, um, sure. And then like, it's one out of her purse as he's like getting closer asking for a dollar, which I'm sorry, but that's like not what you do. Like we would have gave it to you if you just like stayed where you were. And we still gave it to him. Like we gave him a dollar or two. Why am I saying we? She did, cause I'm like an infant. So we gave him the money after he just like got like really close to us with his bike. Not really close, but like say we're here. And he's like, he started off here, came closer and closer and then my mom hands it to him and then we go into the store and he thanks us like i don't have a problem with that but when you're like getting closer me and my mother tend to get a little freaked out so we finish shopping we go and get everything we need and then we're walking out this story actually very short the ending but like it has nothing to do with the other dude i just wanted to like say that because it kind of freaked me out a little bit we get in the car and as we're driving away I turn around and I'm looking out my window and I see this other man riding a bike and in his pocket I see the shimmer and shine of a knife and he had loose pockets so it was like hanging out and the handle was out and like I think if you were gonna carry something like that like you'd hide it a little better I remember screaming Mom, mommy, it's a knife. Like, we were in the car at this point feared for my life <laughs> One day I was tumbling at my brother's school playground because they had like, I don't know, just a floor for tumbling or something. I don't know. And this man with like a big German shepherd like walks up to all of us and he's like walking up to the kids at the park and we assume he's a police officer because he's wearing a shirt with like a badge looking thing on it. And he's like going up to the kids like, oh, is this flooring new? Because they had rubberly- Rubberly- They had rubbery flooring on the playgrounds, but I guess it used to be like wood chips or something. He was like, oh, hi, how are you doing? Is this flooring new? I was like, um, oh, I don't know. Like, I just moved here. That's what I said. And then he's like, oh, cool. We just stopped talking because why else would he need to stay and talk to me? And then he goes up to like my siblings and the people, like the little kids they were playing with. And they were like, oh, hey, like, is this floor new? And then he starts talking to them about his dog. My parents are getting concerned because they see this strange man with a dog that looks like a police officer walking up talking to their kids. Then my parents go to the playground because they were talking to teachers over, because this is the playground, this is all the way over here. It's where they're talking to the teachers because it's by the school and then the playground's kind of far away. So they walk over and they're like, um, hi, do you, is there something you need? Like they're saying this to the guy. And then I don't know what they said back and forth, but my mom managed to like look at his shirt 
and it wasn't a police officer shirt it was something that looked like it it was like he was trying to like trick us into thinking he's a police officer with his big german shepherd and his little badge on a shirt but yeah his shirt didn't even say anything related to police officers my mom like made sure she checked like, my parents just kept talking to him because they wanted him away from us because weird man talking to children pretending to be a police officer hey look at my dog like white van like not trying to get kidnapped today interrupt your video for a brief ad why did i say we i'm the only one here so this is the part of the video where i'm going to tell you to hit the like button i'm going to list off reasons why you should hit the like button number one it makes me happy number two you like the video so you should subscribe to me because I invest my whole weekend making YouTube videos that I post on Wednesdays and sometimes Fridays. I invest a lot of time into my videos, so I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe, try and hit 400 subscribers. Also, comment please because that kind of like pushes my videos out into the algorithm and helps my channel a lot. And tap the bell because YouTube doesn't like to notify people when I upload a new video. Alright, back to your video. But yeah, that was really weird, and then he like started walking around the park, and then I guess his dog was like going down slides and stuff. Which, that's so cute. I don't know, it's just like something about a man just walking up to a playground with no kids is just like, that's wrong. It just is. So yeah, then he like walks away after 10 minutes, and it was just creepy. Now the last one takes place in Washington DC at night so safe so we were just out after dinner walking around because we walked to dinner just finished dinner we're walking like around and then we're gonna go back to our hotel so we're walking and then we turn down some street and we see this woman behind us walking and we think nothing of it because we're just looking around washington and stuff like that and then a few minutes later we peek behind us and same woman is walking behind us staring at my little brother and then we just keep walking because we're like oh maybe she's going to the same hotel like stuff like that and i will mention that she was dressed in all black so kind of creepy already but then we like turned down like a lot more streets i guess like maybe my parents were doing that thing where you walk around the block to see if they're still following you like walk around in a circle and see if that person's still following you and after we walked around a lot of streets she was still following us um okay yeah i was kind of freaked out my mom looks back and she's like guys come up here and walk with us look look at this cool thing like trying to get us out of there because they were walking in front but we were also like trailing in back but like not in a dangerous way just in like the walking way i don't i don't know so then we're on the street of our hotel and she's like getting closer and closer and closer and it's like a horror movie at this point it was just so like unbelievable like not unbelievable but like weird and then we get into our hotel we kind of like fast walk in there but not like obviously fast walk because if this person isn't following us we don't want to make them like feel bad but yeah we get into our hotel lobby and then my dad is like i think he just like didn't really realize what was happening but i'm not really sure so yeah we get into there we had to explain this to my dad my mom was like um, that woman was following us for like multiple streets and then my dad is like And he walks outside the woman is gone at this point Like she must have like ran away or something or she just turned down a corner. She probably bolted out of there So we're just sitting in the lobby and my dad <laughs> So we're just sitting in the lobby and my dad is like stepping outside to like see if she's still there But she's just not there. She's gone and the way she was like looking at my brother It felt like she was gonna like try to like kidnap him or something also a few times during that trip i saw the same woman like on random street corners like where we were it was really weird so that's a few weird encounter stories if you want more of these i probably have a lot more so hit that like button and subscribe also comment any weird encounters you've ever had and maybe i'll read them for a video also make sure you follow me on tiktok instagram snapchat visco and twitter also Starting this week make sure you check the description box for the secret emoji and the first person to comment the secret emoji Is going to get a shout out in my next Wednesday video Yay! All right, I love you guys. Bye